Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS on X Defiant. Uh, we're going to start by optimizing Windows and after that we will go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphic setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for example, here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have uh, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for Nvidia, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU, so I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for NVIDIA. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's going to make sure that it optimize your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divide it by 2. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically. And you just lower the software like that. And you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software. And also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2%, 10% boost in your FPS, depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now the graphic parameters. So first of all, make sure that you're playing in full screen in this game. Don't use the other modes. Uh, you're going to get some random stuttering. Make sure that you play native resolution and also the max refresh rate of your monitor. Make sure that you activate the enable reduce latency. And if you have the uh, NVIDIA reflex low latency, go with enable. After that, uh, I had a, a strange bug uh, in the game. Uh, even when the HDR was at off, I, I was still getting the HDR. So if you want to remove that bug, just put your uh, API in DirectX uh, 12. So you will not have any issue. And honestly, DirectX 12, if you have um, a video card that, uh, I, don't, I don't know, like for the past three years ago, something uh, recent like that, just go with DirectX 12. You can definitely do some comparison in my case, on both my card, my Radiant card and my NVIDIA card, DirectX 12 was better. So I recommend to use it if you have something recent and decent. After that, I deactivate DV Sync mode and the frame rate limit. So I just want the less input lag possible. Uh, if you're struggling with that, uh, with your thermals, for example, just lock your FPS. Don't go uh, unlimited with them. Also, if you have G-Sync and FreeSync uh, monitor compatibility, definitely you can use that if you want. So first of all, for the first parameter, shadow quality and all those shadow options, I recommend to go with like the lowest one, except these spot shadows at medium. You will have a nice 20 to 28% boost in your FPS. So those ones are huge. Resolution scale, don't touch it. Stay at 100%. Be, uh, less than that, you will see that your image will become blurry. Sharpening, you will not gain any FPS with that. It's a question of preference. Do you want more sharpening or not? Particle detail, this one will not provide you a lot of FPS, but it's more to stabilize your FPS. So I recommend to go with low when you see explosion, when you're shooting at stuff. Uh, you'll see that when you put it at ultra, you're, it's tanking a lot your FPS. Volumetric frog after the shadow. This is probably the most uh, the parameter that will pro will give you the most of your FPS. So if I compare ultra to low, you can expect 10% boost in your FPS. Reflection and the local reflection just go low and off. Again, stabilize your FPS here. Vegetation quality you can go at low, but honestly, not a huge difference between low and medium. It's like one to two percent. So honestly, if you don't struggle with your FPS, just go with medium. Um, subsurface scattering, go with off. Parallax mapping, I recommend to go with yes. Ambient inclusion, this one you have four different parameters. Uh, I recommend low because visibility is a lot better. So it's a question again of preference. Uh, but if I compare ultra to low, you can expect 7% boost in your FPS. Object detail, I recommend to go with zero. Extra streaming distance, you can definitely go at 10 if you have 6 gig and more of VRAM. Lens flare, I recommend to deactivate it for better visibility. Water quality, you have three different brackets over there. You have high, medium, and low. 
Um, you will not see, honestly, like, it's not impactful in your game, so just go with low, and you will see, like, a nice 3% boost in your FPS. I recommend to deactivate the chromatic aberration for better visibility, deactivate also the high resolution sky texture, and the last one is staring quality, just go with low with this one, you can expect a nice 4% boost in your FPS. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my x Defend guide. If you have any question, just comment in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.